So uh, a lot of questions I get whenever I post any kind of a deer hair bug, especially a popper like this, is how do we get the perfectly flat face? And this little short video is going to show you the process that I go through to create that popper face. And it's proven to be pretty easy, pretty quick. A uh, little bit of patience required in letting the glue dry, but uh, it's pretty durable. It gives a good popping face, and it gives you a nice clean look on your bug. A couple of the key things I'm going to use in this, this is a deer hair bug I've been working on that's pretty much just rough trimmed. Uh, everything except the face is done. Uh, kind of rough shapes done. The legs aren't through yet, but most of the shaving and trimming is done. So I'm going to use a little chunk of parchment paper that you can find in most cooking aisles in your Walmart or Kroger's, wherever you're going to be. It's a kind of a cooking supply. It's kind of like wax paper. Nothing sticks to it. And you can see I've punched just a tiny little hole right there in the middle of this piece of parchment paper. Another thing you're going to need is a piece of heavyweight plastic. This is just like a piece of plastic material. I've used this one before. I cut it into a square a little bit bigger than the size of the popper face and then cut a small hole in it about the shape of the hook eye horizontally. So that's about the shape of the orientation of your hook eye and that's going to be important because when you push this onto the hook eye you can rotate it and it's going to stay in place on its own. You're not going to have to pin it in place with anything. And the adhesive that I use for this is Liquid Fusion. Uh, I know some guys online who use, I think they use GoTo Glue, which also works pretty well for them. I've just always used Liquid Fusion. It's quick, easy, cheap, uh, and when it dries it kind of shrinks down so it doesn't, uh, doesn't really build up as it dries. So here is how this is going to go. So I'm going to put the glue on pretty liberally and just going to put it all around the edge first kind of go right along that border where the red is meeting the olive and the chartreuse and you can tell I'm putting this on pretty thick so I go around the outside edge first I think it matters which order you go in though and then I'm going to go ahead and smear quite a bit onto the face So that hair has got a lot of glue down onto it right now. Liquid fusion takes a little while to dry, so you don't have to be in any rush to get these next steps done. So next I'm going to take this piece of parchment paper with the hole in the middle. I'm going to roughly line that up with where the hook eye is. And I want to push that right down over the hook eye. And now I can take my piece of plastic that I showed you has got the the hole about shaped like that. I can go ahead and push that over the hook eye and once I get that over the hook eye I rotate it. Now that piece of plastic is not going anywhere. So that is going to be what forms the flat face of this bug. And you can see I've got a lot of excess glue going around the edge of the face and I just usually take my finger and wipe that out. So there you've got your popper face glued up, and now you just have to wait on this stuff to dry, which I usually let mine go at least half a day, sometimes overnight. Um, and then once this is done, I will pick up the video and show you the rest of it. Okay, so this is the following day I glued this face yesterday. Uh, Things got busy last night, got called out to track a deer for a friend, um, left this till this morning, uh, the glue is all dried, you can see that all the glue is kind of shrunk up against the parchment paper there. So at this point, all you need to do is you can rotate this piece of plastic 90 degrees, and then pop it right over the hook eye, so your piece of plastic just came off, and then you can just carefully peel the parchment paper off. And the glue will not stick real well to this parchment paper, so I'll just find a weak spot right there. And you can see how that peels off. Peel it right over the hook eye. And there is your perfectly flat face. And you can see there's some extra glue sticking off like that. 
and all I'll be able, all I'll have to do at this point is just take my scissors and razor blade and finish shaving the the front end of this popper to get the head to match the rest of the body and glue in some eyes and thread in some rubber legs and the sucker's ready to fish. So that is how I get a perfectly flat face on a deer hair popper.